Next Gen is certainly making the headlines here at E3 this year, and we're catching up with Jim Ryan here, Sony president, Sony Europe president, yeah, right. to uh, well, well, to get some cl clarifications. And so sort of, I, I sort of, I sort of made a faux pas here. I, I asked the first question before we actually started the interview, <laughs> and and I caught you laughing a little bit. But you know, you have to say that Microsoft sort of made things a little bit easier for you guys to sort of win the crowd at E3 this year. Well, we were certainly very pleased by the, the reaction of the crowd at our press event to, to some of the announcements we made. And in fact, throughout the whole, uh, the, the whole course of the hour and a half, but uh, certainly reaction to some bits of news, the price, uh, and uh, to some of the statements we made about used games policy and to about the requirement or the, the lack of a requirement to, to, to have the console connected. Um, th th those reactions were quite unusual. I've been coming to this thing for uh, 19 years and I've never really <laughs> seen anything quite like it. <laughs> Yeah, but but we should also mention that that sort of all the benefits of cloud gaming and being online are still there with PlayStation Four, right? So it's not like it's an, you know. Oh no no no, of course. And uh, you, you you know all all we are, all we're saying the only thing we're saying is that if a consumer does not want to connect, mm. you don't have to. You know, you know if for whatever reason a, a consumer just wants to go and buy discs and put them into his PS Four, he can do that. But w equally. We, s we recommend that consumers connect because the, the PlayStation 4 experience is clearly enhanced by going online. And uh, we recommend people do that. The difference is we don't insist upon it. So another thing that I was curious about was the holiday season. Uh, what does that mean more specifically for Europe? What it means very explicitly for Europe is that we will launch in Europe before Christmas 2013. That's good news. Yeah, that is good. It's great news, isn't it? <laughs> it is certainly great news. Uh, leading up to that, you got you got quite a big launch lineup, and and sort of certainly a lot of independents filling up, sort of making sure that you got pro probably what's going to be the biggest launch lineup of any console ev yep. any time. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the work that's gone into that? Because it's it's sort of a it's a change that has been for the last couple or three years with Sony that you've gone allowed people to self-publish and and do that sort of thing. It, has that all been building up to what you want to do with PS4? Yeah, you know we've done a lot of this on PS Vita, uh, as 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 you mentioned, and uh, you know we feel it's just a really important part of the PlayStation 4 ecosystem to bring in this new, fresh, exciting development talent, you know, small teams doing stuff quickly, quite cheap, but some really cool, fun stuff. And uh, we want it on the platform and we're going to make it as easy as we can uh, for, for these people to come to PlayStation. And I think that was also uh, a nice reaction that you got from that, from the sort of the indie segment of, of the show, because that's something that your competitor once again overlooked a little bit for their shows. Yeah, and, and you know, I thought the way they did it, having the, the, the six screens at the bottom of the stage having one of the key indies up there playing their own game i thought that was a really really cool execution i liked it uh, i liked it a lot so sp speaking of um, y you didn't announce that many new ps4 titles that we hadn't heard before for a f from a first party perspective we got the order 1886 um, what what's the what's the first party policy going to be like with PS4? Because we've heard from from Shohei Yoshida that that there's quite a lot coming, but you haven't really revealed a yeah, lot of it yet. And you know, we 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 very consciously at the event in New York on February the twentieth of this year, we 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 showed a lot of software. We showed a lot of first party software. What we did at E3 here wa wa was really s show some updates. Uh, to to those games and as you've mentioned introduced the uh, the order 1886 now there's a lot coming I'm sure you heard from Shu uh, that he has just just his studios he has 30 games in development 20 are going to ship uh, within the first year of the console's life and of those 12 are new IP so you know there's a lot going on and it's just that we we need to c keep stuff back we got Gamescom for us Europeans and we need to have something to show at Gamescom don't we certainly, <laughs> certainly we do and uh, uh, there are a couple of games that that sort of been a long time coming. You recently announced Gran Turismo 6 yep. finally coming this fall on PlayStation 3. The decision to keep it on PlayStation 3. Could you elaborate a little bit on that? Sure. Uh, and y you know when you uh, when you saw the game uh, uh, along uh, along with The Last of Us and uh, Beyond Two Souls, 
Um, those games I thought looked fantastic. I mean, they look better than you know some next gen stuff that, that I've seen. They look really, really great. Um, but the decision to, to publish on uh, on PS3 really um, you, you know talks to the install base of in excess of 70 million PS3s, and uh, you, you know we got a lot of people there who are looking for new PlayStation 3 content, and we're very happy to be able to provide it. If we quickly just do a detour from next gen to the the PS Vita. Uh, the PS Vita, you've sort of changed a little bit your tactics with that now. I feel you, you're going more towards the smaller, the, sm the indie, the, the d digital titles. Is, th is that something that you're going to maintain moving ahead? And, and how do you sort of see that fit into the ecosystem? We're, we're, we're going to have a range of stuff on Vita. Um, and yes, I mean, you're, you're quite correct to observe that there is an increasing focus on the small stuff, digital stuff uh, coming from the, the indie sector. but. That's not to say that we're neglecting the, the larger card-based games. You know, we've got Killzone Mercenary coming. Looks absolutely spectacular. And then, you know, perhaps most exciting of all, we've got Tearaway uh, towards the, uh, the back end of the year from Media Molecule. You know, really great studio. I know some fantastic, wacky stuff in there. And that, that's going to be big. So, I yes, it, it's a kind of blended strategy between the, the larger games and a bunch of smaller stuff. And we also learned about the, the PS3 streaming coming in 2014. Is is that going to be the, the all the cloud functionality, or will some be be available at launch? And or what's what's the? No, it's it's going to be pretty much a phased approach, and it's going to be phased in terms of geography and in terms of um, how we do it. So we're launching in, in North America 2014. Um, we are working. Uh, to, to bring that service to other parts of the world, and most notably Europe. But, you know, Europe's, I love Europe. I think it's a great place to live, and it's all different, and it's all, you know, you know Scandinavia is different to Italy, it's different to, to France, it's, or everything's different to the UK. But, and that different, it, it makes it great to live there, but it makes it rather difficult to do stuff like um, introducing a cloud gaming service, because it's mm -hmm. just very fragmented. So, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of detail to work through. We're in the process of doing that. Um, but we don't yet have a timeline for, for introduction outside of North America. Um, we will start with the streaming of PS3 games to both PS3 and PS4, uh, and, that will be f and, and that will quickly be followed by PlayStation Vita as a client device. And, and the idea of, of uh, streaming PS4 content as well, is that, is that even further ahead? Or? Yeah, yeah that's, on, that's also on the roadmap, but as I said, we'll start with PS3 and then quickly it'll migrate to, uh, to, to pla uh, content from other platforms. All right. So, um, in terms of, of, of next gen and sort of where do you, where do you think that, because we're, we're in a state where the industry is sort of like, it's a little bit in turmoil. There are some, some parts of the industry that's doing real well and then it's been, it's slowing down a little bit for the traditional console, you could say, in the last year or so. Uh, how do you feel? Do you think that that PS4 is enough to sort of ignite it again and sort of make it make it as big as it was perhaps three, four years ago? Yes, <laughs> that's the short answer of it. Uh, and uh, it's not just because you can use use games, right? But but what, what do you see that is sort of the next gen drivers in terms of like new f features? I, I I think a lot of it's going to revolve around um, significant improvement in the online capabilities of the device, and uh, that will manifest itself you, 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 you in um, in the way consumers purchase content. I think there's going to be more and more purchasing digitally. Mm -hmm. Well, retail will continue to be be very important for for a long, long time. But there's going to be more digital purchase, more more sort of social um, social components to games. Y y you know, using our share functionality. Um, so th the design, the device has been designed very much as a social device. So you know, leveraging a lot of the a lot of the uh, wider social phenomena that exist in, in society today. So uh, th I think that's going to be a very key fixture. So, so those are two things I'd, uh, I'd pick out. So if you, if you could give a tease of what's next to reveal about the PS4, what, what's, <laughs> what's, what's left to reveal? What, what, what do you still have yeah, to communicate? You guys are never happy. You know, we just gave you, we just gave you a great price. We, <laughs> we gave you some great games and we told you it's coming before Christmas 2013. I can't give you any more right now. You got everything. <laughs> Well, I wanted the console right now. <laughs> Nick, give him a console. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much Real for your pleasure. time. <laughs> Thank you.